all right hello guys how's it going so uh, today I'm gonna be showing you how to access the single-player shared map uh, in Halo 2 so basically the way I understand it is that this is a uh, a map that the single-player campaigns uh, reference uh, during the missions to load um, vehicles enemies characters etc not every character is there I don't know why that's exactly the case but um, anyway, so what I have here is my uh, FTP uh, server situation to my Xbox. So here on the left, uh, this is my computer which has all the stock maps to where I can drag and drop them over to the Xbox when I want to put the, the stock map back on uh, the Xbox hard drive itself. So all these ones on the right are the maps that the game will use. Uh, so if you see there's you can see there's a uh, the multiplayer maps are on the bottom and then the uh, campaign maps are on the top so this this is a pretty simple trick basically uh, I didn't come up with this this has you know been known early on I, I just saw a random uh, a random forum thread that uh, told that told me about this so that's how I was able to, to learn how to do this but basically the single player shared map here which I'm clicking on that can be loaded like a multiplayer map so if you go to uh, the multiplayer session uh, you can load into it so here, uh, the way to do it um, is I'm going to swap it for midship. So basically, I'm going to change the name of this to midship. And then from the, the uh, dashboard of the console, I'm going to load midship, and it will load the single-player shared map instead. So you want to keep track of what you're doing. So basically, you just call midship anything else. I'm just going to call it old midship. So we can reference it later to know that that is the actual midship file. And then the single-player shared... I'm going to change the name of this to midship and you have to make sure it's exactly you know that the text see the original as a reference here you want to make sure that it's exactly the same lettering and everything and that's it so that's all that is needed to be done and then I'll show you from the uh, Xbox I'll load into midship and it will load the single player shared room instead And here we are. So, um, yeah, pretty interesting room. It's, uh, it's kind of funny. Uh, so yeah, something interesting about this is that the... Uh, I'll show it in a second. There's, there's a health pack on the ground, you know, near the overshield there. I, I don't remember seeing that in the game. Um, maybe if someone else can confirm that that was just a beta object. I, may, maybe I'm missing something obvious. I literally don't remember seeing that in any campaign level whatsoever the health pack actually works too uh, check this out you'll see uh, I take my uh, health down a little bit with a grenade and you'll see a white flash check that out that's really cool that's really interesting I didn't know about that so there's a, a functioning health pack in the, uh, the Halo 2 code <laughs> it's pretty wild yeah one funny thing about this room is that uh, the uh, start button doesn't do anything so you uh, you either have to turn off your Xbox console to get out of it or you have to win um, you know if you're in co-op you have to win the <laughs> win the game and it'll go back to the uh, the, the lobby uh, the lobby menu yeah I hope you guys think this is interesting so I do I do a couple a couple tricks here um, so it's not all it's not all chaos and destruction but uh, <laughs> All right, thanks thanks for watching you guys. Hope you uh, enjoy the rest of it. And cheers. See you in the next vid.
Slayer. Lost the lead. 